Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous introduced audiences to a newborn ankylosaur clone, one that was notable for being something of a lesser than perfect specimen by Dr. Wu. This animal, however, nicknamed Bumpy by the characters of the show, would go on to become something of an important dinosaur when it came to the overarching story. Still, with it living on the tropical island of Isla Nublar and still being there just a few short years before Cloud Island's imminent destruction, some fans have been talking a lot about the animal's fate, specifically whether or not she will die once Mount Sebo, Nublar's now active volcano, erupts. And the majority of that island's dinosaurs go extinct. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now, when it comes to the subject of what happens to Bumpy, there's actually a lot of material surrounding the now running Jurassic World animated series that would suggest that the story may actually end before the events of Fallen Kingdom even begin. Colin Trevorrow himself has stated that he doesn't intend to kill off the kids once the volcano goes off. So we can totally rule that out of happening during the course of the show. But what does that really tell us about Bumpy? Keep in mind that at this given point in time, Camp Cretaceous takes place close to the events of the fourth film in the franchise. And while several weeks have more than likely passed, spanning the new episodes, that still puts us at around the early 2016 date at the latest for where we are right now in the timeline. Now when it comes to what happens to the ankylosaur, I actually think the odds of the animal getting off of the island pre-volcanic eruption are relatively slim. Sure, Dave, Roxy, and the kids' parents are surely doing everything they can to make sure that the group gets home safely, but that doesn't mean any of them are going to want to import several tons of Cretaceous dinosaur off of Isla Nublar when they go and pick up the survivors. By the way, this whole conversation is reminding me of that Islands of Adventure advert from way back in the day. Alright, thanks. Sarah? So does this mean that Bumpy is doomed to die? Well, not exactly. You see, during the events of season one, we actually got introduced to some of those unique translucent Parasaurolophus, which resided in a part of Jurassic World that we never got to see in the 2015 film. And if we take into account another spin-off story, namely the Jurassic World live tour, we can see that a similarly altered Stegosaurus also has this sort of ability. Now I bring this up because in the live tour, groups of dinosaurs are revealed to have successfully gotten off of the island at some point in time, namely a secret Troodon that Dr. Kate Walker was dealing with. This adventure also led to an engine lab in Chile where some deadly velociraptors wound up attacking a lot of people, so this franchise hasn't exactly kept everything on the island so far at all. But just how would Bumpy get away from Isla Nublar? And who's to say that she wouldn't become a meal for some of the more aggressive animals that are currently residing on the island? During season two, we saw that Bumpy had relatively no problem taking on Toro, the lead villain Carnotaurus of the show. However, that doesn't mean she'd fare so well up against every other dinosaur she'd go up against. And who's to say that the dinosaur couldn't fall victim to some other unforeseen threat, such as the dinosaur poachers that we saw kill off some of the species in season two. If I had to make a guess as to what will happen to the animal in the following episodes, it wouldn't shock me if the Ankylosaurus was actually able to get away from the island and get revealed as one of the animals that was sold off at the auction in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now whether or not this will end up being what actually happens is yet to be seen, but if this is what goes down, I think it's safe to say that we could get a little hint as to which animal it is when the following material comes out in support of either Dominion or some other story that's yet to be seen. Just imagine a bumpy cameo as a full-grown ankylosaurus sometime in the future. Still, there's always the possibility that Bumpy could just die from that volcanic eruption. The Jurassic World movies have been much more open about killing off dinosaurs in their stories, and I mean, when you think about it, there wasn't really a lot of dinosaurs dropping dead in the first three movies. There was some, but nowhere near what you get when you look at the fourth and fifth film. They really did up the kill count of dinos by a considerable margin. So it's not like Bumpy's out of the woods just yet when it comes to Mount Sebo. Personally, if this is how they kill her off, I think that may be a bit redundant since we already got the Brachiosaurus death like that in part five which I still think is one of the most memorable and impactful shots in the whole franchise. But hey, with only a few years left of life in Isla Nublar, this could very well happen again if she doesn't find some way to get out of there and quick. 
Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my in-gen executives. I'd also like to thank all of my parkers and in-gen hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you all continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. See you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.